Rumours as to who the next James Bond will be have finally been put to an end. British actor Aaron Taylor-Johnson has been claimed to be given the role after months of speculation over who will take over from Daniel Craig. Insiders have said the kick-ass movie star is expected to accept the role as 007, stepping into the shoes of Craig after 15 years. According to The Sun, a source said, Bond is Aaron's job, should he wish to accept it. The formal offer is on the table and they are waiting to hear back. As far as Eon is concerned, Aaron is going to sign his contract over the next coming days as they start preparing for the big announcement. The next Bond movie has been delayed because of last year's Hollywood strikes, but insiders have confirmed a script is now being worked on, with production scheduled to take place at Pinewood Studios in Buckinghamshire. Taylor Johnson has recently opened up about whether he would accept the offer of Bond if he was approached with it. Last week he said, I find it charming and wonderful that people see me in the role. I take it as a great compliment. It was revealed back in 2022 that Taylor Johnson was in the running for the role after secretly screen testing for the Bond movie supremo Barbara Broccoli at Pinewood Studios. Taylor Johnson began acting in the early 2000s when he landed a role opposite Richard Harris in The Apocalypse. Insiders said Aaron's performance as a psychopath in the 2016 thriller Nocturnal Animals, which saw him win a Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actor, opened the door to the Bond role. A source said, Aaron may not be the best known in his field, but he is an incredibly talented actor. Craig put down his Walther PPK pistol for the final time in 2021's No Time to Die and ended with his Bond being apparently killed off. It is unclear where the next movie will fit into the timeline, but if it is anything like the last movie, which made up 600 million, anything is possible in the world of Bond. Daniel also starred in 2006's Casino Royale, Quantum of the Solace in 2008, 2012's Skyfall and Spectre in 2015. However, his long stint playing the role didn't come with much happiness for the actor. He previously noted he would rather slash his wrists than play 007 again.